toes in the mud Since day one, you know what I'm talking about Day one, JG, drama boy Yeah, yeah. Ten toes down Yeah Start this one off with the lovely picture of Maiva Hamadouche. You see her here. Okay. Maiva Hamadouche, dressed in yellow, apparently getting ready for a fight for December the 17th. She writes the following in French, translated with Google Translate. Always so motivated, always so determined. See you on December 17th in the ring. I've uh, forgotten who her opponent's supposed to be. I heard about it, but. Um, I forgot. All I see is Maiva. Moving on. Attach that. Oh yeah, something about Oscar de la Hoya says that he uh, he wants to fight Triple G. You know what I mean? I want to fight Triple G. It's gonna be a great fight. You know how Oscar get down. This is according to the Sun Boxing. Oscar de la Hoya planning ring return, age 47, to face Knockout King. Gennady Golovkin, as legend, insists it'll be easy. Why are they still calling Gennady Golovkin knockout king? <laughs> knockout king. He certainly didn't knock out the fight, the person he was supposed to knock out. I mean, if, did he? Did he knock out? Did he knock out Dave Lemieux, or did he outbox Dave Lemieux? Okay, he, he wasn't even knocking people out. Stop some people. It is what he is. Knockout king. I don't know. You get the feeling that some of the people who write that kind of stuff don't know what they're talking about. Lastly, before we go into uh, the main subject, we've got something here with the... Uh, Mike Coppinger seems to be preoccupied with this pay-per-view stuff. When people say don't talk about pay-per-view, pocket watching and stuff like that, look, 
it's part of the game it is what it is it determines how fights are going to happen how they're going to arrange and come to some kind of agreement if you don't like it fuck off here's the thing here it says it's like uh it says pay-per-view getting on sorry let me read it properly here it says pay-per-view getting an absolutely massive push during washington dallas game of fox great fight really can't wait for this one expecting it to perform well on pay-per-view will you buy it yes no i don't know what the fuck are you asking yeah i'm saying uh, drama anyway let's move on to uh the main subject that i really want to talk about here okay it is what it is girls listen it's gonna be a quick video something i just saw something i saw online today apparently the uh guy that was being held up as a well not a pioneer but a person that needed to be celebrated because he broke the record of Floyd Mayweather being 50-0 because Mayweather was tight on the 50-0 record the gentleman by the name of Wang Heng Menayothin went 54-0 and but unfortunately his record has been broken unfortunately for some not to me I don't give a fuck but um, his record has been what I mean is that he lost to some guy called Panya Prada Bissi. Don't know who he is, like many of his opponents. And um, that's it. Let me let me show you what it says there. If I can. That's him there. So now he's 54 and 1. What does it say here? This is by uh, Simbox. All right. They write. Oh, God. Shayafon, Shayafon, is that his name? Shayafon Wenget Manayothin Monsri loses his WBC minimum weight world title by a unanimous decision last to Panya Padab, Padabris. Padabris. Manayothin had a record of 54 and 0, surpassing Floyd Mayweather's, of course. That was what the, that's what made him relevant by any, you know by any stretch of the imagination surpassing Floyd Mayweather's 15-0 leading into the bout and had made 13 defenses of his WBC title so I guess he only held one belt the WBC at minimum weight fought hardly anybody Did, certainly didn't fight outside of uh, I think he's from Thailand or I think he's from Thailand yeah didn't fight anybody outside of Thailand and uh, hardly fought anybody that we were aware of but you know, the, what gave him relevance was the fact that okay, once he hit 50, 49 and once he actually hit 49 and he was being touted as like, oh yeah, you see, Floyd can't talk about being 50 and 0 because you know, this guy at minimum weight who's uh, who's uh, 49 and 0 and is going to be 50 and 0, then he turned 51 and 0. Oh God, you know, they tried to make it more than what it really was, but nobody gave a shit to keep it real with you. And the fact that he's lost now, unanimous decision, shocks me really. You know what I mean? Not that I know who the person he fought, but there you go. But that being said, that's about it, really. Uh, Sky Sports carry it too. Sky Sports carry it too. Wenget Menayothin suffers surprise first defeat after breaking Floyd Mayweather's 50. You know, it's all about Floyd. <laughs> they don't, the guy can't even stand by himself. You know what I mean? The guy can't even stand by his own record. He has to be compared to Floyd Mayweather. That's why I say. You know what I mean? It doesn't matter. Anyway, let me cut this one here, y'all.